From a black base coat, paint all the wooden areas Rhinox height. Paint all the silver areas with lead belcher. Don't worry about going over to the gold areas as these are easily overpainted. Paint all the golden areas with Retributor Armour. Um, a lot of the fine detail is very close to the wooden areas, um, particularly the raised designs. So small amounts of paint and using the edge of the brush is probably the best way of doing it. And of course, if there's any overspill, you can just correct that with Rhinox Hide before continuing. Wash the wooden areas and the silver areas with null oil. Paint all the gold areas with Gullum and Flesh Contrast because this makes everything better. Edge highlight the sharpest areas of the wood with Steel Age and Drab. Edge highlight all of the silver areas using Stormhole Silver. To save time, you could highlight the gold with the same colour, but I've done this with Liberator Gold in the next step. Edge highlight the gold areas with Liberator Gold, particularly paying interest to the edges of the designs and the rivets that are pronounced from the gold areas. In the box art, the magazine is just silver, but for interest, I've made it glow like some of the other weapons of the Skitari. So to start, paint the recessed areas with Sotek Green. Thinning this paint down and using it more of akin to a wash is probably the neatest way of doing it, but will require two coats. Paint this area now with Temple Guard Blue, uh, aiming to leave some of the darker paint at the edges. To finish the effect, paint the centre with Baharoth Blue. And this is the end result. The Skitari Vanguard weapons look similar and using the blue effect here you can complete those weapons with the same techniques. Thanks for watching. Um, if there's any tutorials you'd like to see please leave them in the comments below and if you like these videos please subscribe.